especially with the sandbar guys. Um, you can't play any cards there that have abilities. So the only cards you can play over at the sandbar are cards with no abilities, I believe. Yeah. So basically, um, a Patriot deck would work really well just because with the sand bar, um, the cards with no abilities works really well. Plus, since you have Patriot, Patriot will buff them. So basically, you kind of win, I guess like you win a free location. Um, but yeah, um, I am super excited to see how the location goes. Um, but for right now, this is such a weird, uh, weird situation we are in. I don't know what they're planning on doing. I don't know if they're going to flood the board or not. But it is a bit of a strange, uh, strange situation. As, uh, I guess I'll just do something like this. Because the amount of Patriot buffs we are going to get is going to be insane. The only thing that will suck is if they drop a high cost card or a high power card at Warrior Falls. Because we are probably going to lose that. I don't know how none of our cards have gotten destroyed just yet over at the Falls. But if they play even like a, I guess like a 4 power card or whatever. But then again, our Patriot should buff all of these cards. So, we are going to have to wait and see. We do also have a Super Scroll out there, which will be nice. Um, but yeah. This could either work really well or really bad. But here goes our Patriot as they absolutely flood the board. Which I figured was going to happen anyway. Yep, look at all those buffs. It is beautiful. Um, okay. Oh, that's fine. So it looks like that Psylocke and my Blue Marvel and Super Scroll are going to get destroyed, even though my Super Scroll's copying the Iron Man's power. Which is nuts, by the way. Look at that. 320 is crazy. Um, Oh my gosh, Super Scroll, oh my god. 640 is wild for the power. Ah! That hurts. Yeah, dude, that absolutely hurts. I knew my Super Scroll was going to get destroyed, but man, that hurts. Ah, that's tough, but I guess GG's to them. Alright, the bar with no name, that is definitely not a great location, so Ultron kind of gets taken out of the picture immediately. We do get Wakanda, which is pretty nice. Um, I kind of want to save my Patriot and stuff for that. And then I drop Shocker, and there we are. So, the sandbar is the new and featured location. Cards with abilities can't be played here. So that's why, like I said before, we are running a Patriot deck. Because as you guys can see, if I try to play Patriot there, it just does not work. So, yeah, I don't know if this guy's also running a Patriot deck, but I feel like Patriot deck would work pretty well. Um, but now I have to play this pretty carefully. Yeah, as it's trying to flood the board, but... Okay. Oh wow, that's right. I can't even play Brood over there. That's unlucky for us. Yeah, they go Patriot and Mrs. Sinister. Okay. That's nothing too crazy. Um. I don't necessarily know if we win this just because... I mean, I can drop my Onslaught, but I feel like that's not going to be enough power. Um, yeah. I think 
I just lose this one. So I'll probably just end up retreating. That's definitely the smarter option because I feel like I'm just not going to have enough power to win anyway. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So GG's to them. Great. We get Lamentus 1. Out of all the locations we could get, we get Lamentus 1. However, I do feel pretty confident because we have Patriot, we have Mystique, we have Ultron, Blue Marvel, so that is going to be a very nice combo. So if I just go Patriot, then Mystique, then Blue Marvel, then Ultron, that's fine, that's actually fine. Um, But yeah, I do feel really confident. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Quantum Realm, that is fine. Um, I might as well just, yeah, just do something like this. I was going to say I might play into the realm because Patriot would get the buff, but there's really no point. Um, really no point in that. There we go, Mystique. Um, there's no point just because the Ultron would go down to a two power as well, which is really not what I want. Uh, we have Mystique and then Blue Marvel and Ultron, so let's hope they don't retreat. They use Squirrel Girl, which is fine. Now I go Blue Marvel, and then finally we drop the Ultron. Ah, uh, okay, I don't know what they're doing over at the Quantum Realm, but... Yep, I've already snapped, I was just making sure. And now I drop the Ultron. They probably have no idea what I'm planning on doing. But... I still reckon we win. As long as they don't, don't have a random Cosmo. Because that would throw me off. <laughs> um, but I really don't think that's the card they're gonna drop. Let alone think that I'm gonna have like an Ultron or something. So, I feel super confident. I honestly thought that was a, um, Cosmo for a second, and I freaked out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they just played Death and Venom, which is definitely not enough. Absolutely no way that's enough. <laughs> Look at all those, uh, drones. Yup, oh, GG's to them, dude. I mean, that is the one time Lamentus 1 has actually been good to me. The fact that I could do that combo with the cards that I had is just beautiful. So, again, GG's to this person. Alright, we get nowhere. Not the worst location, just depending on the card we get. If I get Mystique before I play Patriot, I definitely don't want to play there. Uh, we do get the Sandbar. That's fine. Um, I want to play Brood over on the right if I can. Um, and, oh, dude, are you kidding? Okay, um, alright, I got a plan so I can go Brood. And then I can go Patriot on the left, and then Mystique on the right, or I can save Patriot and Mystique for the final turn as like a 1-2 um, combo, which I might actually do now that I think about it. And of course I have Ultron. Ah, okay. <laughs> this just got a lot more annoying. Alright, so, I'm gonna go Patriot. Um, okay, this definitely got super duper annoying. And then, I'm just gonna have to go Blue Marvel. I'm honestly gonna have to go Blue Marvel. And then I'm gonna have to drop, um, Ultron over on the right. Because there's nothing I can do. Okay, I know. I was about to say, I thought that was like a hobgoblin and I kind of, kind of freaked out a little bit. But yeah, now I have to drop Ultron. This is definitely not how I wanted this game to go, but I feel like we do have a little bit of a chance. Yeah, okay, I don't, I don't really know what they did. I guess they assumed I wasn't going to play or have any cards at the sandbar, but I guess little did they know that I had an Ultron coming. But 
they snapped like they were confident before, so I really don't know what their plan was, but hey man, I guess it GG's to them. Enemy, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys, yeah guys. So that was the brand new and featured location, the Sandbar. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. And also, if you guys did like the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to show support. I do appreciate all of it. And as always, 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 guys.